Well, we are passionate about IFM's products. They've been engineered to be tough and durable and meet our customers' expectations, which they always do. Well, IFM take a great deal of pride in getting our sensors tested in various laboratory conditions. And those laboratory conditions are often what our customers experience. But today, we're going to take that a little further. We're going to do our tests outside. We are going to be quite extreme with the things that we're doing very out of the ordinary. We need to make sure that they will survive well beyond the expectations of our sensor so that our customers have complete confidence in what they'll do. So we're doing a test right now on our R-Series proximity sensor. This is a product specially designed for welding. Um, it has a special coating to resist slag and build up. As you can see from the sensor, we've currently got it connected. It comes on like so when it's in front of metal. I'll move out of the way and I'll let Glenn do some welding and some grinding here with the proximity sensor in place. So what we have is in normal situations you have a lot of welding and a lot of spatter around um, sensing technology and the thing we're doing today is to prove that our sensors can handle the welding, handle the spatter, also the cleaning techniques, bit of grinding so hold on to your hair and see how we go. Idea there. And we end up with a lot of weld spatter and um, some slag all over the sensor. So what you can do is you can actually clean the sensor itself. Hasn't damaged the sensor. You can also get a hammer and a bit of a clean. Look, Glenn, these are actually designed to be hit properly with a hammer. They are quite a tough sensor. They've got a full metal body and you get a real hammer and you can demonstrate like how hard we can hit the sensor, as you can see, and even there. Still working. So they're how pretty about, robust. How about we try something like putting some grinding chips and sparks on it? Can you grind? Yes. Watch I'll move, watch okay? It. <laughs> Big hammer again. So, terrific sensor if you've got high impact applications. As you can see, we're still working. still working. Well, Glenn, I think we did do some really interesting things and learned a lot on the way, but we've confirmed that the sensors that we've marketed and we've, um, we produce have met all of the requirements we got them to do today. We tested inductive proximity sensors and they worked really well, much better than I think even we thought. Mm. Also found, Roland, was the, the welding. That was really great to see the amount of spark flying and then I'm grinding and there's sparks over it and then the wire brush and you've come and decided to give a little bit more of a hiding with something quite heavy. Yeah, well, I don't, I'm not much of a welder, but um, it was really interesting to see that the proximity sensor survived that environment really well, including the shock and vibration from the hammer. That was really excellent. Yeah. Um, great chest, that sensor's still out there and still could be used as a brand new sensor almost. Yeah, I thought it was a great um, outcome. Yeah, it's really, really good. Yeah. yeah.